Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Monday so I have another tag video for you. If you're new here, first of all, welcome to my channel. My name is Alina, I'm an author and I post videos on YouTube about books and writing. A while back I took the Your Story tag and turned it into a new release sort of tag. It kind of didn't work exactly because that had his hair everywhere. It happens when you have a dog. So that tag was created for a work in progress and mine was just being released. So. I watched the Nikki J. Marcus video earlier today and she adapted that to match a new release. So this is the Your Story tag release version. I've trimmed it down to seven questions and I'm using it today to tell you all about my latest release, which is a bundle of Lover's Journey. This edition of the series contains all three books, so it has the first two novels that were the original duology, Dawn to Dusk and Dusk to Dawn, and the companion novella Sunrise With You, which was just released a month ago in February around Valentine's Day. So, like I said, this one contains the entirety of all the stories in the series, and this is a great way for you to find out more about it. First question, tell us more about your story. Lover's Journey as a series comprises two love stories that kind of mirror each other and they, uh, they're interlaced in their development following two protagonists. The first one is Eddie and the second one is his friend Sebastian or Seba. These are both coming-of-age French lover stories and um, the angst level is pretty high in both of them. For Dawn to Dusk and Dusk to Dawn, the stories are built following certain moments in each protagonist's life. They only appear in the story when they interact with their love interest. Both stories cover lengthy periods of time, over a decade in both cases. In case of Sunrise with You, this is a story of an established couple, well, six months into their relationship and the new hurdles they have to face. The second question is, tell us about your characters. For Dawn to Dusk, the protagonist is Eddie, who first is introduced when he's 10 and we follow him until his late 20s. Eddie has to come to grips with who he is, which includes him being gay in a country that's not exactly welcoming to any people who are not straight. Just for reference, homosexuality was illegal in Romania until 1990. So it was still illegal when Eddie was born. His love interest is Robert, the other main character of this story, who is older than Eddie, he's his childhood friend, and they have a very strange on-again, off-again relationship. Unlike Eddie, Robert has a tougher time accepting who he is, and that creates most dissensions in their relationships. For Dust to Dawn, I followed Sebastian, Sebastian in English, his nickname is Seba. When the story begins, he is 13 years old, he goes to the same school as Eddie does because this is a school where they have secondary school and high school all together. He falls in love almost by mistake and that's how he realizes he's gay. This happens a few years after Eddie has to go through the same issue. So it is and it isn't easier for, for him. He falls in love with the person who is going to become his best friend later on, and that is Eddie. Favorite friendship in your story? Although Eddie and Seba are best friends, and they are best friends for over a decade, uh, my favorite friendship is actually the one between Seba and his deskmate in secondary school, Elena. Uh, I based that on my friend Victoria. I actually used her sister's name for this. 
Uh, it's partly inspired by our own friendship and what I made her do throughout secondary school. Um, just following me around while I chased my crush. And um, it is my favorite. Even if at some point she's no longer Seba's best friend, she's still his oldest, dearest friend in the world. And they work so well together, I like their interaction and uh, I liked, I like the fact that for once I got the opportunity to explore this friendship I have with someone I've known for so long, despite us living very far from each other for, well, most of our friendship. So uh, that was really cool to explore and uh, I know Victoria read the book and really enjoyed it, so that's a plus. Next question, what's your favorite scene in the book? My favorite scene in the book involves Seba and Eddie's best friend. Her name is Evie, which is short for Evelina. And it happens on March 1st, so <laughs> kind of around this time. There's a tradition in Romania that on March 1st, girls receive a small little gift from boys. What's important in this gift is the twisted ribbon. That's a symbol for spring and um, it's supposed to bring luck. And on that ribbon you have some dangling thingy, maybe a brooch, maybe a pin, maybe just the shape of an animal, maybe a flower, something like that. It's customary to get that to all the women in your life. Uh, it can get expensive and complicated at times, but this is what happens. And on March 1st, Seba goes to Evie and gives her one of these little gifts. It's called Marcishor, which kind of means little March. And um, she, she's kind of his guardian angel from secondary school because she's the one who always lets him know what it is up to, why he's not in school, and tries to keep him safe and keep Eddie from finding out that Seba is actually in love with him, which I found really, really sweet. To top this off, Seba is convinced that Evie is um, Eddie's girlfriend, so <laughs> that will be interesting throughout the book. Next question, how did your story come about? Well, I wanted to write about the purest form of love. I feel like your first love when you're super young, um, something that's often referred to as puppy love, is one of the most purest form of love you've ever experienced. I remember when we were of Eddie's or Seba's age and we had a crush on someone, it was never selfish, it was never something that had demanded their attention or that demanded us not to share them with anyone else. Especially since, I don't know if this was a trend everywhere, but when we were in secondary school, we were always crushing on older guys, like the high school guys that we saw everywhere. And I think we all knew nothing was ever going to happen because we were just these dumb kids to them. <laughs> so I based characters in these books on crushes I had. Um, and explore them from a different perspective, how it, how it feels to fall in love with your childhood friend who's also your hero and who's also a sort of a darker angsty presence than you are and then what it feels like to fall in love with someone you know you have no chance with, not now, not never, and then continue to help them throughout everything they go through, love them unconditionally and never demand anything in return. Sure. Uh, in the case of Seba, he got a beautiful friendship and someone who was always there for him, but that wasn't why he went into all this. When he fell in love, he was as pure of heart as he could. Next question, what is the theme of your story? Well, as, as this is a series, it's harder to pin down one theme, but these are stories about growing up, accepting who you are, and shaping the world around you in a way that fits what you need and who you are. In a way, it's a story of strong friendships and even deeper love. And um, 
Yeah, that's about it. Seventh and final question for today. What is one thing you love about your story? Well, this entire series was a great pleasure for me to write. Actually, I decided to write Sunrise with you for Valentine's Day and not another Valentine's story because I missed that world and those characters. I love the fact that I had to explore my memories of school from the earliest to the latest, like university time and my first job. I delved into the experiences of my friends and the educational system and the belief systems in Romania and that was hard, difficult, heartbreaking and rewarding all at once. And I think it made for beautiful friendships and beautiful love stories in the end. So this is it for now. Lover's Journey, the Omnibus Edition is available for sale on all Amazon websites and you can read it for free if you have a Kindle Unlimited subscription. I will leave all links to it in the description down below. Just an FYI, the series is priced at $6.99. The equivalent of buying all those three books would amount to $11. So if you buy them in the Omnibus edition you pretty much get a full novel for free so give it a go check it out maybe buy a copy if you find this interesting i would like to thank you so much for watching wish you an amazing week and i'd like to ask you to give this video a thumbs up maybe share it if you've enjoyed it and comment down below let, let me know what you think of this version of the of the tag of the story I told you all about, well, the stories, because it's three of them, and um, anything else you'd like to comment on. Thank you again, and I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye!